Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to discuss about week 4 of bits and bytes of computer networking. So basically in this week we are going to talk about the networking services and devices. So at the very beginning we are going to discuss about name resolution and so we are going to the quiz of name resolution. First question, what transport layer protocol does DNS normally use? DNS normally use UDP. Number 2, a DNS TTL determines what? How long a DNS entry is allowed to be cached? Number 3, how many root servers are there? There are 13 root servers. So we already completed the name resolution topic quizzes. Now we have name resolution in practice quiz. So let's see what's uh, quizzes of this topic. First, and a record contains what? An IP version 4 address. Number 2, select all that are true. One domain name can point to one IP. One domain name can point to many IPs. Yeah, they can. Many domain names can point to the same IP. Yes, that's true. MX stands for mail exchange. A fully qualified domain name can point in how many characters? 255 characters. Okay, so that's all about name resolution in practice. So we're going to our next topic, which is basically dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP in a short form. What are the four things that all computers need configured in order to operate on a modern network? A name server, a subnet mask, an IP address, and a default gateway. Okay, so that's all. A default gateway, IP address, subnet mask, and a name server. That's all. Number two, when using a fixed allocation of DHCP, what's used to determine the computer's IP? A MAC address is used. The process by which a client configured to use DHCP atoms to get network configuration information is known as DHCP discovery. Okay, so we already con completed our DHCP. Now, network address translation. So, let's see what the quizzes are. NAT addresses concerns over dwindling IP version 4 addresses space by allowing computers using non routable address space to communicate with the internet. Number two, what technique allows you or allows for inbound traffic through an NAT port forwarding? Number three, the total number of IP version 4 is appro approximately 4.2 billion. Okay, so we already completed that one also. Now we're heading to VPN and proxies. Okay, so the first question, two-factor authentication is a method where you need more than a username and a password, obviously. Our VPNs are known as a tunneling protocol. Number three, a proxy is something that communicates on behalf of something else. That's called proxy. That's why it is called proxy, actually. Number four, week four, so we're going to now network services simulation. So that's a kind of simulation uh, examination. Okay, so we're going to have some simulation. Okay, so that's a code. There's an examiner, so examiner will ask you a question or ask you for a help and you need to provide the possible services. Okay, so first off, we need to connect it to the internet. Okay, so for connecting to the internet, what you guys can use? Think you guys can use router, right? Okay, drop here and check green card. Okay, so that's correct. Now next, configuring the network setting for every desktop is becoming a real problem. So what you can do right now, you can put DNS. Oh no, you can put DHCP. Yes, you can put DHCP. Check. Yes, green card. Number three question. I'm worried people are going to break into our network. No, wait, there's a firewall for you. Check it out. Yes, that's correct. We need to reduce internal collision domains. Okay, so for this, what you can use? You can use a switch. Check this out. Next, our traveling salespeople need to access internet resources. I mean internal resources on the road. So what they can use? Okay, so our traveling cells. Okay, they can use DNS. Check this out. Uh oh, sorry. So they can use NAT. That's uh oh. Wait, try again. Our traveling cells people need to access re okay. So that's it. Correct. VPN. Okay, so VPN will be the correct answer for this question. People can't remember so many IP addresses. Okay, so for this you can use N DNS. DNS will be there. DNS will be there for you. Okay, so we're running out of IP addresses. Okay, no problem. NAT is here. Next. Okay, so all the questions are correct. You will get 100% marks after this. Now we are go heading to the final graded assessment of networking services with 16 questions. So let's check this out. The first question of the networking services. A technique that is used to route traffic to different destinations depending on factors like location, congestion or link health is known as anycast. Number two, a concept that involves a concept that in, in involves iterating over a list items one by one in an orderly fashion is known as round robin. Number three, 
A PTO record is responsible for resolving an IP to a domain name. Number four, the final step of DHCP discovery process is known as DHCPEC. Yes, that's it. Number five, what when entity hides the source IP of an originating device? This is known as IP mask IP masquerading. Okay, IP masquerading. Number six, at the very lowest level, what data does a computer understand? Binary numbers. Number seven. A video conferencing application is not working due to domain name system, DNS port error. Which record requires modification to fix the issue? Service record or SRV. Number eight, an IT system engineer creates a new domain zone, a domain name system zone that contains pointer resource record or PTR record. Which zone type has been created? A QDN or SOA or subdomain? This will be reverse lookup. Number nine, network address translation entity. Technology provides the major benefit for which of this device, uh, which of this network problem? Address exhaustion, exhaustion. Okay, exhaustion, whatever. Number 10, what technology helps users to get connected and stay secure? VPN. Number 11, what port on a name server is used for UDP name request packets? 53, port, port non 53. 12, a complete fully qualified domain name or FQDN is limited to how many characters? 255 characters. Number 13, what term defines keeping the address of one computer secret from another? Masquerading. Okay, number 14, a VPN uses a particular layer from the OSI reference model and carry encrypted payload that actually contains an entire second set of packets. Which layer is used? This is transport layer, which is used. Number 15, the DNS provides an easy way to remember addresses. Without DNS, how many octets for an IP address would have to be memorized? Four octets. Number 16, when a client computer sends a request to a DNS server, what type of packet is sent? SYN packet is sent. Okay, so that's all about the network services at week 4. Hope you will get full marks in this quiz after watching this video. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you think this channel helps you 1%.